twist this? Konnichiwa! Welcome to my Japanese makeup tutorial. <laughs> I actually don't know anything about makeup, but I thought it would be fun to film a video on how a Japanese girl typically does her makeup. I mean, there's a lot of different ways as I've learned this week, but today I'm going to be going for like the cute one. So I'm going to have like a lot of pink around my eyes and they do this thing where they like want to look like they've been crying. And so they'll like darken their under eye bag thing here, which I already have. So it makes it really easy for me. The look I'm going to be going for is this one. I don't know her name, but I'll like put the full picture on the screen so that you can see. So I'm just going to pin my hair back with my fancy clips that I only bought for my wedding. The first thing I have to use is this Korean skincare moisturizer or something. I don't know. My family members gave me this and said that they put this on before they start their makeup. So I'm just going to trust them. How much do I need? That might be too much. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's good. And should I just like put it around? Yeah. And... <gasps> oh no! <laughs> spread. <laughs> oh, also I have a mirror like right here. So that's what I'm looking at for 80% of this video. It has like a pink color to it. So it's supposed to make you look like healthy and like you have good circulation in your face. So you look like you're blushing a lot, which I don't really need help with because I'm super pale. So my cheeks are always red. Am I beautiful yet? <laughs> Something in my nose. <laughs> Next I'm just using my own foundation that I brought from home. It's just the Benefit foundation. We're gonna really pack it on. <laughs> I don't have like concealer. I don't I'm just gonna like put some more under here. The only reason I have any makeup is because I decided to do my own makeup for my wedding. Because I thought when we hired the makeup artist, I thought we were gonna like, they were gonna do like a trial run of it so that I would know what it looks like. But they only did a trial for the hair and then they're like, just kidding, we're not doing any makeup. We'll just come on the day of your wedding. And I was like, yeah, I don't know about that because I don't ever wear makeup, so I don't really want to be unhappy with it. And I'd rather be unhappy with myself doing my makeup than like mad at someone else for doing it poorly on my wedding. So I just went into Ulta and there was like the best lady ever helped us and like found all of this stuff that matched my face perfectly, helped us find like what to use for the ideas and the colors I had in mind. So. If you don't really wear makeup that often like me, just consider doing it yourself because it's not really that hard if you just watch a bunch of tutorials and I'm sure one of your friends knows how to do it and they can help you. Next thing to use is this soft loose setting powder. It has like the little, what is this even called? The cushion, cushion thing that, I don't know, we don't really have this in America a lot but like a lot of people in Asian countries use this, so I'm excited. I also have no idea how to use <laughs> this like contraption. So I have my sister-in-law sitting like right here so that she can help me whenever I don't know what's happening. Okay. <laughs> what do I do? Just, yeah, put it can on. Can I just do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're ready. Let's keep going. The one I have is was this the number one or the number two? two? Number two shade is lighter and it's like pink, which is good for me. But then there's like a darker, like yellowy shade if you like have darker skin. I also didn't bother getting foundation from the store here because I didn't really want to bother trying to find like a color match for me because I don't know, did they even make, I don't think they make anything that's like light enough for my skin. At least in the store we went to, which was just like a normal drugstore. It wasn't like a fancy place with lots of options. I'm also using my like foundation powder that matches the liquid one I used earlier. I kind of just use it as like concealer. So for blush, 
got another Japanese product. The picture that I chose, she kind of has it more like up here, which is like one of the ones I wanted to do because that's different from like Western makeup. Why do they do that? Do you know? I like, why would they put it like up there? You want cheekbones? <laughs> I'm gonna go like hard. That's good. <laughs> We're gonna be really pink today. It's kind of intense, so I'm just gonna like tone it down with the same brush that I just used for foundation, so it has some tan on it still. So yeah, basically it's like where you're gonna put like highlighter normally for people who do that kind of makeup. And then I'm just gonna put on some of like my own highlighter, just kind of more up here. I don't think she does this in the picture that I'm copying, but I'm just gonna do what I want. She said like people here do the highlight down here to make their nose look, it's taller here, but like it means yeah. like, like, yeah. comes out more, but they call it like taller. So my nose, my nose is tall in Japan. So they put it here to make their nose look taller. And then on their chin, yeah. this? Here, like a triangle, tiny triangle. Okay, well I don't, I don't have do that precise that? of brushes. So <laughs> do a tiny that. triangle <laughs> on your chin. <laughs> we do it like here. Oh. Like, you see this a lot. I watch a lot of like, makeup tutorials like not like the whole well sometimes the whole video is a makeup tutorial but i just like happen to watch one because of like someone i watch does their makeup in their vlog so i know what to do i just don't care enough to ever do it to myself and then i have like the smallest size of the benefit gimme brow to just do my brows that obviously i don't care about because there's hair everywhere i should probably pluck them if I really cared, but I don't. If you like draw your eyebrows on or something, we were looking at like a Japanese person's tutorial and like at the end of your eye is where you're supposed to have the eyebrows start like going down. I don't know how to do that, so <laughs> we're just using what I have already on my face. Okay, so I'm gonna do eyes. So I have this little eyeshadow thing that I got at the store here, and then I just have like probably one of these cheapo eyeshadow palettes from home. So the girl basically just has like pink sparkles all the way around her eye, and then kind of gets lighter like in that inner tear thing. I don't know. I'm not a makeup artist, as you can tell. I'm just gonna use like the little brush that came in this thing so that whoever happens to be watching this and really wants to do this can just use the tools that are already given to them. I feel like my eyes are like... They just like move. So I guess if you really cared you could like put like some sort of primer or foundation like on your eyelid so that the color just shows up immediately because it's kind of hard for me and like I have like huge like veins running through my <laughs> eyes <laughs> which probably isn't the desired look but it's natural. I just used the lightest shade on this one and put it on my eyelid and it's kind of like it's a really light pink with sparkles but I kind of want it to be a little darker so I'm just going to use this pink just a pretty light pink and I'll just put that over it. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> oh no, it's a lot of ink. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just keep adding more and more until we can't even fix it anymore. I think I just like basically covered the first one with the more intense <laughs> pink. I'll just put this one on over it again. That'll work. We're not looking for perfection here. My camera just like stopped recording for no reason. The battery is fine, I don't know. So I'm still just on that eyeshadow where I had to go over it with the light one. Okay, this is what we've got so far. <laughs> Let's zoom in on my face so you can see every pore I have. I don't even know how to like show you. I don't do this often. Goodbye. <laughs> And I don't do eyeliner, so 
this is what we're <laughs> we're gonna try for eyeliner. I've seen this in a video with someone that used this exact thing. Oh, it's so dark. Oh no. <laughs> they just use like the, you know, that's what it looks like. They use the, the narrower side and put some of the dark color on it and then like they just put it where the eyeliner should go. Not like out, not like the wing line eyeliner, just like the one that goes on your eyelid. So we'll see. My eye literally like twitches. <laughs> so that's going to be hard for me. Oh no. Go that way. We'll just make it all smudgy. It's fine. <laughs> How did that she do it like that? Look at mine! <laughs> it's horrible! She's what? <laughs> oh, it's horrible. I'm just gonna like go like this. Yeah, whatever. What does that even look like? <laughs> Here's what I've got. There it is. Do you see it? <laughs> it doesn't look like eyeliner at all. Let's do it on the other side. I'll do it in the camera this time, since it doesn't matter. I can't <laughs> do it anyway. Just put it on there yeah. and just like go like this. It's the illusion of eyeliner that we want. And then just go in with the light color and cover it up again. So you can't even see it. You can always fix your mistakes. What did I say I was gonna do? Oh yeah. So then I'm just going to take like the same exact colors again. Actually, let's, we're going to have to start with the pink so I don't literally make the same mistake I did earlier. I'm going to use like the side of it so it's a little bit smaller. And then we just put that like from the outside, probably like, I don't know, two thirds of the way into your eye. Like, why is my eye like so big <laughs> there? You can tell I'm kind of tired. It's like, what? the beginning of my fourth week living here. I don't feel jet lagged anymore, but like I probably am. Like my body is still adjusting. Mm, looks lovely. I don't even like honestly see a dip. Like it just looks like my whole face is like pink. But it, yeah, but it looks good. Thanks. Now go in with the, the like a light, the light shimmery pink over the exact same area. Connect the circle. Full circle. You don't have to be precise, just just try your best. Please don't judge me. This is not a tutorial. This is just me having fun. I look sick. <laughs> and I'm just, just taking the light color and putting it like in the inside. So there's no none of that like pink there. Would you like to see what I'm doing? I'm just putting it in here. Not precise at all. Just put some in there. It's supposed to like make you look like you're awake. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> She's lying. No. <laughs> I don't know how people like do the eyeliner like in this part, you know, like in the yeah. waterline. I don't even know. I would like cry just doing the other eye. Sorry for my twitching eye and eyelid. <laughs> I'm sure it's not pleasant at all to watch. So here's my eyes. Super close. Ah, that is actually horrifying. Here's my eye. So this is the important part. It's where I need to make it look like I have like huge tear ducts or something. So I have this color. It's like a brown, but it's sparkly. It's probably not the right shade for me, but it's okay. The people that are doing it, they like have nothing under their eyes. I already have like all of these lines and like bags from being tired. So like, this really isn't gonna work for me, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it. <laughs> I'm scared. What? Is there even a dark color coming out? So I just like put that dark color like here. I already have the eye bag, so I'm really just making it like accentuated. I don't think anyone really needs to do this if you have eyes like me. And just go like, I don't know, halfway or so. And then I'm just gonna go in with like that like super shimmery one and just go like between that dark line in my eye again. to just really show off those eye bags. You want them to be seen. 
I hope everyone's jealous of me. <laughs> in my under eye bags. It's in that part of the eye for the commercial. Ah, <laughs> oh, ew. It was like a nasty commercial on the TV yesterday. That like, when you know when you wake up, sometimes you have like little things like inside of your eye and you'd like wipe them out. It like showed like close up someone with that in their eye and then it was like a medication or I don't even know what it was, a wipe that like makes you not have it. The commercials here are really weird. I'm just putting more of that shimmery shade on just because I can. Should I put on mascara? Yeah, sure. Oh, I hate mascara. Okay, I can't put it on well. It doesn't come off. So like tomorrow I'm gonna look like I've like been crying and it's not gonna be good. What is that? <laughs> Oh no! It's horrible! <laughs> this mascara is like just like too good for me. Like it has so much product that like I can't do it right. I want like a bad mascara. Like I want like two years old mascara that has like horrible. We're just gonna live with that. And now I have to put it on the bottom lashes too. But I really don't like doing that either because it's gonna look even worse than the top lashes. <laughs> don't forget the eyelashes out here everyone. <laughs> This video is so scary. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, it's happening again. Oh, look at that. What is that? Do you see that? <laughs> like, drop. Oh no. Like, I don't even have eyelashes there. There's like a big gap. <laughs> what? Oh no, I touched my eye. <laughs> it's really bad. Also, I know it's on my nose. I'll get it in a minute. Yeah, that's fine. Do we have like tissues? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, because I'm gonna like pull like okay. this off of wait, my wait, eye a little bit. <laughs> this mascara is like really like good, good yeah. but I cannot do that. Like it's too good for me. It just like makes your eyelashes longer by like adding. Oh. Like it's not your eyelash. It's not. No, it just like adds like like little bits of like oh. product, and they just is like. It fiber? Yeah, they like just, I don't really know, they just like build on off of each other. I like put almost no mascara on for my wedding because I knew I had already done all my face makeup and it was like, it was great and then I didn't want to mess it up, so. I didn't do any on my bottom lash because it always ends up horribly. That's good enough. Here they are in their final form. <laughs> There's probably black like all over the place because I'm a mess. I have this cute little lipstick bottle. Apparently they just like it because it's cute. The packaging is cute, so I got this one. When you were in there and you could like swatch them on this piece of card, they definitely didn't look like what the packaging color looked like, so it was all a guess. I don't even know how to put on lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Done! Looks good! Here's my completed Japanese inspired makeup tutorial. It literally is just like a normal person's makeup except for like going all the way around the eye and doing that like tear bag crying thing. So it's not that bad. I'm gonna go like outside and take some pictures and like put those like filters on them that make you look cute and like your eyes are huge that they use a lot. <laughs> Matane! <laughs> I'm also gonna like show Akatoshi the pictures when he comes home so we can get his reaction because I know he wasn't in this video so I want to include him. I'm his wife so maybe if he likes this I'll just start doing this every day so I can be so cute. <laughs> okay bye. It's later the same day so I'm gonna show him pictures of what I look like today. It's really like not that crazy so you can just go through. I took like a hundred million. Whoa. So like... <laughs> Who is this? I think it's Whoa. like... You look, a, you look like a witch. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Your nose. So tall. Uh oh. Yeah, oh. I talked about that. It's not... It's like not is as... It it's not as... Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have a bandaid on? Because my it's like I have oh. that cut there that I didn't think everyone wanted to see. Are you a model? <laughs> you, you, already, you already helped me, so. Oh yeah. 
I don't think it's like that bad because my skin's already so like red and pink anyway that like <laughs> the stuff around my eyes isn't really that <laughs> obvious. Yeah, some of the pictures are like cringe. What? Oh, and I made my eyes bigger in like all of those. Looks good. Do you want me to start doing that? No. The natural you is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want to. I'm not saying you can. Oh. <laughs>